Today we, we focused on adults and children in, in trying to help them to, to have better management of their disease so that they could stay out the hospitals. Now, the persons that came to the clinic today, um, were they persons that, you know, are known to have sickle cell or just uh, had symptoms of what could have possibly been the sickle cell disease? You know, these are known individuals with sickle cell disease who have experienced uh, hospitalizations at, at the, the medical center here and um, ranging all the way from today seven years old to I think the oldest individual we saw was in their 30s and um, you know, and the wide range of problems, but as I said, focusing more and just strategies to, to keep them out the hospital and to have better disease management. Now, tell us about, uh, of course, the services, the medical services that are available here in country for persons with this disease. You know, mostly it's pain control with, um, with narcotic medications and non-narcotic medications. And because the disease is known more, more for pain, many individuals focus on, on pain. And in patients presenting to the hospital, a lot of the patients get a stigma of being drug addicts and drug seekers and things of that sort, which is far from, from the truth. And besides uh, pain medicines today, I actually did bring down with me one of the, the known treatments for sickle cell disease, a drug called hydroxyurea. And there is a supply here with, um, at the medical center now with Dr. Bermudez, Selma Bermudez, who did the clinic with me and who will also continue on and, and hopefully we'll establish um, an ongoing great program to, to help individuals with sickle cell disease. Follow up clinic.